Millets are not just food. They are an integral part of the culture of thousands of communities all over the country. In South India, the sorghum growing Deccan areas of Telangana, Maratwada and North Karnataka use sorghum to bless their newlyweds. <laughs> In many rites of worship across castes and religions, sorghum is revered as the principal ritual grain. Dasara, a major festival in the Deccan region, witnesses a unique celebration. This celebration makes testing seeds by women as an essential part of the festival ritual. Women observing the Gatlu ceremony bring seeds from different households in the village mix them with soil and put them in front of the deities. Then they retreat into isolation and keep a steady watch over the seeds until they germinate. This is the traditional germination test for seeds, most of which are the millets. In the Endlagatte Punnam, the panicle festival of the Deccan, Freshly cut crop panicles from the field are offered to the village goddess and then hung in decoration on the door front. Sorghum occupies a place of pride in this array of crops. Any food that is so deeply integrated into the culture of communities cannot be taken away from them. Development experts argue that denying such foods to those communities is a form of political oppression. In the vast Indian millet landscape, one can find a range of culinary delights. Each region has its own variation on the millet food theme. Sorghum bread, or joar roti, is the most desired staple diet of the Deccan region in South India.